Intruder! Intruder! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting weapons. <laughs> there he is. Very, very quiet. You see him? <laughs> it's right back there. Very, very quiet. He's trying to take down my solar panels. I'm hunting weapons. <laughs> Right back here. He's down in that hole right there. That'll probably be a last resort. So we have an intruder back here trying to take out my solar power. We can't have that. There's some scat or poop right there. All this dirt has been like shuffled around. So something's been back here digging and there's a nice big hole right back there. So the plan today is to remove the solar hot water heater panels. Yes, I haven't weed eaten over here in quite a long time, so don't mind that. Anyway, we're gonna get that stuff out of the way and see if we can get this. I'm pretty sure it's a groundhog. We've had a couple other groundhogs, actually one underneath here about a year ago. I had to remove all this stuff and fill in his hole and all that kind of stuff. And I put in some remover we'll just say and then i put all this back and i covered up all the bottom edges so nothing could get underneath and then i think what he's doing is he's going down that little tiny crack right down there just to get down there and then he dug a hole out this way right over here so he moved all of my bricks and all that stuff that i had out there there's a lot of dirt and stuff moved around over here so i'm wondering if he has another hole coming out somewhere in my scrap metal stuff that I like to use and keep. I'm pretty sure they come from over here because they don't take care of, well, anything. Yeah, so this will be the fourth or fifth one that's come from over there. I've had two in my wood pile over there. Where my shed is now, I had my trailer there and we had one dig underneath my trailer. I should go over here and check and make sure there's no like extra holes or anything. Yeah, the last time, they came through this area and I had to block all that stuff off. This side looks okay. Yep, all that looks okay. Yeah, I don't think we have anything back here. It's just up there by the house. I did actually have, I think it was the one that went behind the solar panels last year in my little window well right over here. There was a hole started. It did go underneath a little bit, but I have since blocked that one off i put a bunch of these bricks down inside that hole so nothing can get down in there so yeah that's our plan today is saving the solar power <laughs> kind of be happy to know i've got more stuff in my shed now got a little shelf back there got all sorts of crap on there but we need to get to our shovels and stuff right over here and the shed is really working out great by the way maybe this one and get him out don't know if we'll need this one but we might and then probably one of these rakes when we're done I say we because John is coming over to help me move these solar panels John's the one that had the power go out and we threw the uh, Delta Pros over there so he could have power for a couple of days, which worked out great by the way. He's gonna come over and help me move these panels because they're way too heavy for me to, to lift. Yep, okay. I also stopped at Ace Hardware to maybe try out these garlic tunnel tubes, mole and gopher repellent. Hmm. That does actually smell pretty good. I mean, it should, because it's garlic. They're basically like garlic, I don't know, biodegradable garlic releasing spikes or something like that. I'll just put a whole bunch of those over there and maybe that will repel him to go back to where he came from. And did I mention it? it reeks back here? It does not smell pretty at all. Yeah, 
I use the word scat. <laughs> well, here's this hole. All right, so we got in there. I even had a log shoved in there, so nothing could just hang out right there. And I've got all sorts of stuff filled in. I know they can dig, you know, it don't have to remind me of that, but I just tried to make it a little harder. I have all sorts of, you know, metal chain link and all sorts of stuff in there. And there's a little tiny hole that he dug through there as well. I'm wondering what it looks like behind here. Gotta remove my little solar lights here. Well, I guess at least uh, he had some light when he was working. That was nice of me. These lights do work pretty good, by the way. Oh, Jesus, there's flies everywhere. Oh, get off me. Ugh, there's flies and stuff everywhere. It's really gross and disgusting. Terrible. Like, I think raccoons are better. <laughs> and I don't like raccoons either. I think from me trying to make it so difficult for any sort of animal to get back here, I probably made it the perfect home. All right, not much of an intruder quite yet. He didn't have time to dig holes, so we got to this pretty pretty quick. So I'm gonna basically fill it all back in and then put those little garlic, garlic thingies down here. Maybe that'll deter him from coming back. I guess we'll see. All right, our solar power plant has been at least saved for a little bit. I think we did a pretty good job, got everything all smoothed out, and we put more of these uh, cinder block things all the way around and then all the way across the back wall so they can't dig across that. And then I got the whole front up here covered up with these little, um, I don't know, tiles or whatever. I just lined the whole thing they can't get underneath it and then I just put the rails for these solar panels right there as well and I also got a really big old plumb bob right there laying across that whole side so now we can't come up here to the top like he was doing and then coming back down the side to dig his little hole so now I think what I've done actually is probably made it a, a condo because all he has to really do is dig out here and go up underneath but I've got a whole bunch of those garlic scented things. You know, I got like six or seven right there, one up there in the front. And then I've got another one somewhere back over here. Got one right over there. And then I've got uh, two back here. I got one, one right there. And then one more, I guess, towards the entrance uh, sitting right there. So hopefully, the garlic stench will deter them from coming back here. And those things actually smell pretty good. I mean, it's just garlic. It might be like garlic extract. I don't know, but they smell really good. I'm actually hoping that the, um, the raccoons won't come back here either because they're always back here. I think that's where the, the poop is from. I called it scat earlier. I never use that word. That's kind of a fun word, scat. Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it for this video and on to the next. So thanks for hanging around and watching a non-battery related video and I will see you on the next. I can't forget to put my little solar lights back out for the animals to see at nighttime. Why am I doing this? 
I don't know, basically because I just had two extra ones and I'm not sure what to do with them right now. So I'm just going to hang them back up right here. There we go. Boom! I don't know if you can see it or not. The orange PVC or the orange lines, they are finally running fiber down here at my house. Yay! Oh, you wanna see what else real quick? Time now is 2.33 p.m. We're at 94% state of charge. We got 8,152 watts of solar. We're charging at 6,865 watts. You wanna see what that is in amps real quick? So do I. We got 127 amps. That's my weather today. We'll see you for another day.